what is up guys welcome back to our end of the market update for tuesday april the 13th of 2021 and what a day today in the markets guys it was relatively good all right markets hitting all-time highs um cryptos hitting all-time highs i mean you name it uh a lot of good money was made today so let us review quickly what happened in the morning coming into 9.30. So there was news out of Johnson Johnson that um, its vaccine was causing some issues, block plugs in, in its patients. So government officials and FDA urged them to uh, look into it or, or halt production of it to until they figure out what's going on. So obviously that's COVID related. And given that um, the tech sector was the sector that led the market recovery from the March lows of 2020, um, we saw a rally on it again. So, and then we had the CPI numbers, the uh, consumer price index, which came higher than expected. So there are concerns of inflation, which the dollar was down today due to that was also um, crypto, Bitcoin hitting all time highs, but that's also main, mainly due to its IPO tomorrow and the hype behind it or Coinbase IPO, my apologies. So, uh, let us review the markets. Uh, let us review what's going on and what happened today. So we continue to see a melt up higher. Okay, we continue to see the markets hitting all time highs. Nasdaq just cracked to new time highs. S and P keeps on breaking record. Dow Jones was lagging today, but that was expected. All right, there was a shift from value into growth, and so um, so you saw like uh, Procter and Gamble was was lagging. Um, Let's see what else. Um, Philip Morris, you know, those those stocks were, were significantly uh, lagging. So anyway, looking at the S and P or the SPY ETF, right, coming from the March lows, we went up in one, down in two, ABC correction. We're now moving up into the wave, into the minor degree wave three. Now we haven't seen, we haven't been able to anchor wave three yet because we continue to break records. So. Where, where could we potentially now see um, a top, all right? Uh, let's, let's, let's delete these, uh, and then let me show you how I, I arrived to these uh, FIP, uh, FIP levels and a little strategy to use FIP clustering in order to find levels of resistance, all right? So in the lower degree from the minor one here, we're gonna take a FIB retracement, sorry, FIB extension from the low of wave three to the high down to the wave four. And you'll notice that that wave five comes into the 419 spot 64 level okay so that could potentially be a level where wave five could terminate now wave five uh doesn't have to be equal to wave three because there's always truncation so we can potentially find any if i turn on the 618 or yeah actually the 618 we could potentially see some sort of resistance coming into the golden pocket okay which is at 414 spot 15. Now, this could be a level or zone of resistance that the SPY or the S&P 500 can come into uh, for this week, all right? Also, to really find out where potential end of wave three here is gonna be, right? Because wave three should be at least the 100% extension of wave one, then we take this levels, right? So we already met the target, so my point here is that so we already met 100% extension of wave one. So wave three, if it ended here, was equal. It was equal to the wave one, but we kept on going higher, which is fine. It's appropriate. So our next level of resistance comes in at the 1618. Okay, but the six, 1618 is a little bit higher at the 427 spot 65 level. So that's a little bit far fetched, I'll say. Um, and so what I'm aiming for is our immediate target at the 618 or 61.8 which is the golden pocket, at which point we can anchor wave five around the zone, right? Call wave three over the minor degree complete. And now we're gonna see a three wave pullback in the minor degree wave four. We're gonna see a three wave down that will retest this level or this um, sort of uh, zone here. Uh, excuse me, that was a phone call I was getting. Um, we can see a retest of the channel resistance that was originated from the intermediate wave one down into intermediate wave uh, two. Okay, at which point that's the zone where I would like to take advantage for a quick trade that will take us higher into the wave five. 
which I have here in the minor in the intermediate wave three to be at the 443. Now this is not to say that's where we're gonna hit, but those are projections. So once we see that, then we go into the wave four in the minor degree, sorry, in the intermediate degree, which I anticipate to be the summer months, and that'll be a more drag out, longer time frame. All right. Um, so I really wanna, we have a few more opportunities to take advantage for, for this upside move. So we should wait just a little bit to see that pullback, at which point we will take advantage and go on higher. Now, uh, let us move to the triple Qs, which is the NASDAQ ETF. Triple Qs broke above our target zone of the 2618. Okay, and we are now melting, continue to melt up higher. It's concerning because we have a bunch of gaps here that should get filled at some point, right? Although this one seemed to have gotten filled already, but we accelerated here, right? And we moved up higher. Now, if this is, um, we actually, we did, we moved up higher above the, the all time highs in the intermediate wave one, when we sold off in three waves down in B, sorry, down in two, we went up in one, down in two, we still have more ways to go in the wave three, but I do anticipate that at some point now we should be able to see a pullback in the wave four, a three wave pullback to the 30, the 23 and 38%, which will be a shallow resistance, sorry, a shallow support, which comes in line or in confluence with this levels here. Okay. Uh, so tech was pretty interesting today. Uh, let us see what else. Um, unless i don't think that was the case unless three was here four was here and now we're in five of three that'll be interesting so let's explore this real quick i don't think that's the case if that were to be right can we count five waves here one two three well we could count five waves uh please excuse me guys um let me see so let's do this together all right so wave yeah, let's use the FIB extension tool. So wave one down to wave two. Um, let's take the 200. And we did find resistance at the 200 zone, 200%, which is appropriate, going 200% extension of wave one. Um, okay, so that's appropriate. Wave three could be here. Uh, now wave four, this, is, look, this looks like a sideways correction that could be squared up to wave two pullback here. Uh, let's see where that ended. That was that looks pretty shallow, actually. Yeah, that doesn't work, guys. I don't think that was the case. Because, see, it wouldn't be it, right? Wave 4, that's too shallow. I mean, it didn't even reach the 23% uh, retracement of Wave 3. So, uh, no, I don't think this is the case. I think that we still have an ongoing upside uh, ongoing melt up in the in, in, in tech uh, let me undo all of this stuff and revert back to our count here yeah so i do st i still think that we see further upside maybe just one more push before a three wave pullback so as you saw i did a quick exercise there with you guys uh none of the fib levels in the wave four and um kind of matched up to what should be a pullback in the wave four which could have been the 23 percent or the 38.2 didn't touch the shallow one which is 23 so it doesn't that that that's not valid. Um, therefore, I'm not I'm not counting that as the wave as as the one that it should be. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully we do see this pullback because I do anticipate a trade testing this lower trend channel. Okay. Um, at which point we could take advantage in the wave three, uh, sorry, in the wave five of three. All right, so that's the that's that's the trade. Sorry, that's the triple Qs. Uh, let us see. Uh, Uber continues to perform um, as expected from our video yesterday. So wave three, ABC in the wave four, spot on fifty percent retracement. We are now moving up. Completed wave one um, at the two six one eight. Now we're pushing back lower to retest this trend channel or this line here, which is the triangle line from the originated from this consolidation in the way four all right so once we retest this zone or this line here okay we back test it we can anticipate another move in the minor degree wave three which we can add to our position which in the profits if we took it down here we were um we're now in the profits of the trade okay so that one's looking good 
Um, let's see. Palantir. PLTR. Palantir is making moves today. So the way I'm looking at Palantir is that uh, when we finish minor degree or intermediate degree wave one here, we're pulling back and we're looking now for wave two. Now, I do anticipate that if we are going to down, we're doing five A, B, and then we're going to we're going to look for uh, wave C here. But for now, I have a target of around 29 to 32, which is the 50 percent or the 38 percent retracement of wave of wave A. OK, so that should be here. Uh, we should be coming in, hopefully, if it continues, which it looks like it, right? Up in A, down in B, and we should see five waves in C, all right? Um, we took a trade on this one today. Let's Hopefully, that one works out. So, OSCK is another one, but see, Overstock is a little bit tricky because Overstock has been in consolidation for some time now, but we played this one today with the hype of the Coinbase IPO. So Overstock owns an exchange. Overstock was the first company publicly traded back in 2017, 2016 to um, adopt Bitcoin as a form of payment. So we've been in the profits of this one. We took a trade uh, today. So uh, yeah, anticipate further move up in the wave three, up in one, ABC down in two, and now we're looking for wave three. Okay, guys, so that was a quick update for today. Again, so in the spot, uh, we're looking for this immediate target into this uh, zone here, the 618 to the 100, triple Qs. We are looking for a pullback into the wave four to take advantage of the wave of wave 503 in the upside trade. Um, let's see, do I have any notes here? No, those were the additional trades we took today, Palantir and Overstock. We just reviewed Uber. We still have, we still have Amazon on. Um, yeah, so once again, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your patience. Um, if you could consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up notification and hit the bell button. So when I do upload these videos, you um, you get to see them. Also, I am leaving the description down in, sorry, the link in the description to the Discord group, which is free, completely free. Join. Uh, we are growing fast. So take advantage of this um, because it, potentially will change so for now it's free come in uh be part of this growth i am looking forward to new faces we are all working together we are in the profits so take advantage of it all right guys um i'm gonna try to do a video showing or structuring how we run this this discord if you guys um need to see before joining okay so yeah that's it for today uh looking forward to tomorrow Oh, we have bank bank earnings tomorrow. Also, we have the uh, Coinbase IPO. So it's, it's, it's a pretty good week. All right, guys, uh, be excited. I am. Uh, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.